All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take off the heat shield here. So you got a 13 millimeter nuts on both sides. And then down here, zoom in, focus here maybe. Down here on this left side, you're gonna have a Torx bit, so a T30. So it's a little pain in the ass to get to, but if you take off this little canister that mounts to the motor mount here, it'll be pretty easy. This is what the canister looks like. So take a little 10 mil out the top and everything will be good. So what we're looking at now is the wastegate actuator. On the flapper that goes to the turbo, you have a little circlip here. So you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and you're gonna press on the circlip. I recommend putting your hand underneath this thing's gonna go flying. So I'm gonna do that and I'll come right back. All right, so we took the circlip off here. This is what this thing looks like. Let me get in the light here. So that's your circlip right there. So now what we're gonna do we're going to take the two nuts off the back of the wastegate actuator right here. See, so have two small nuts that are going to hold this canister on. So I'm going to pull this off and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so we pulled the two nuts off the back of the stock actuator here. You can see it's disconnected from the flapper and the bracket that's mounted off the side of the turbo compressor cover. So this is what the stock actuator looks like. You can see the one nut is actually underneath the car because I'm a jackass. But you take the 10 millimeter nuts out the back of this and it just slides right out. So I'll get uh, my actuator out and I'll show you how that one goes on. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the Tune Plus actuator onto the car. And then you're gonna set the length. You're gonna take the turbo flapper here. This is the wastegate flapper that's on the back side of the turbine housing and you're gonna pull it closed all the way. So hold the flapper closed all the way, set the length of the actuator so it just fits. Then what you're going to do after this is you're going to set the preload. You're going to pop off this actuator here. You're going to shorten it by three millimeters and then you'll put it back on. In order to get it back on, you're going to have to pull on the rod out of the canister. This is the canister right here. You're going to pull it out towards the flapper and then put it back on. So I'm going to shorten it and I'm going to reinstall it. All right, so we got the actuator back on. Now it's preloaded three millimeters. So what I did, like I said in the last clip, is shorten the clevis well, the length of the actuator rod here, we shortened it by three millimeters, so preload it a little bit. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull on the actuator arm towards the flapper and get it uh, you know, back on the pin here. So this is gonna be pretty tough. This is a high pressure spring set in this actuator. Um, so <laughs> you're gonna have to pull on it pretty hard to get it back on there. I recommend putting some uh, pliers on the, on the actuator here right behind the nut and just pulling on it until it fits on. So um, I have a rubber band here holding the flapper shut because if you just touch it, it's gonna fall back down. So I'll get it installed and I'll have another clip. All right, so we got everything back installed. So actuator is preloaded, pulled it out, got a hook back onto the flapper pin here. So last thing you gotta do is just put the circlip back on. If you don't remember what the circlip looks like, that's the guy right there. You're just gonna hook it back onto the pin, push it down the flat screwdriver. There, last bit you're gonna do, is you're going to hook up the vacuum hose to the front of the actuator. So make sure this is pointed up. If you don't have it pointed up, you're not going to be able to get it back on. Uh, you can make it a little easier by pulling the player clamp off here, uh, put the hose back on, then throw a zip tie on it. So uh, that'll hold enough boost. won't be an issue at all. <clears throat> put the heat shield back on. It is going to be a pain in the ass, but I do recommend putting it back on. This turbine housing gets pretty damn hot, especially through a couple, you know, one, two, three gear poles. All right, I'm gonna go real quick over here for the Fiesta guys, now that we got the Mustang covered. Uh, my car already has an actuator on it. I use my car daily, so I'm not gonna be able to fit it in my garage with the Mustang that's actually down right now um, to actually do an install video on the car, so I apologize about that. Uh, pretty straightforward, remove the heat shields off the car. Uh, you're gonna remove the, the secondary pipe that goes to the from the intake to the turbo itself, so you're gonna remove everything off just like you were doing in a downpipe. So get the heat shields off, you'll see the actuator. Uh, here's the actual actuator here. So <clears throat> this is a factory actuator from a Fiesta. Sorry if it's a little blurry here. Here we go. So you can see the factory actuator has two bolts on the side, just like the Mustang. Sorry, on the back side, just like the Mustang. Pop those off. The other end will have two nuts on it. Uh, take the nut off the back side of the flapper first and the thing will just pop right off. So it's pretty straightforward, really simple. If you have questions, you know you can email me, uh, send me a message on Facebook, give me a call. It doesn't matter, I'll get you taken care of. So what we're gonna do, because I don't have an actuator or a car to put the actuator on, is I'm actually gonna use 
the actuator off the Mustang that kind of looks similar to the flapper on the Fiesta. So just like stock, stock would be with the actuator here, would actually go through the flapper <coughs> just like this. This, is, this would be the flapper here that's on the turbo. So what you'll do is you'll take the nut off the back, pull it off. Now you're going to grab the Tune Plus actuator and install it. So what you'll do is you'll leave the actuator or bolt the new actuator onto the turbo, uh, put it through the flapper with the flapper closed all the way, and you'll just set it we know what the flapper, no preload at all, just set it. Then what you're going to do is you'll mark this nut here, the inside nut towards the canister. Uh, you should see a marking on here. Here you go. So right there is a black permanent marker that I just marked it saying, hey, this is the, the standard length here. So what you're going to do now is you're going to spin this two full times. So there's one there, and then here's another. So two full times, it's about two and a half to three millimeters of preload. Now what you do is obviously the flap, flapper is going to be farther back. You're going to put the nut on the back side here and just tighten it until it pulls the rod out of the actuator towards the flapper. And you just keep pulling it. The rod will come out of the canister itself. You just tighten the two nuts and you'll be done. That's how you set preload on the Fiesta. If you have any questions, like I said, you can email me, info at adamtune.com. You can give me a call. Number is on the website, adamtune.com. Uh, or you can shoot me a message on Facebook if I'm your friend on there. Thank you.